Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to extract something from its photo with this little application called Preview. Let's say we want this photo, but we don't want the PC guy in it. We only want the Mac guy. I'm just gonna open it in Preview by dragging it in the dock icon at the end it's gonna look like this except it's only gonna be the Mac guy now we hold select for like two seconds we go on extract shape we draw around the thing we want to get rid of Yeah, I'm just gonna do this pretty quickly. Don't doesn't have to be perfect either. Now we press enter. Now we enter we enter what's it called again? Instant alpha mode we drag to take out like pieces of our photo now I dragged it's red it's gonna take it all that out of the photo if we do option drag it's gonna be green but I don't want option drag since I only want the PC guy, the Mac guy sorry I'm gonna do some green around him. Try to get pretty much as good as I can. I'm gonna drag inside that crack in his arms because we don't want white in this photo. Now that's good, I think it's good. We press enter, now it's only gonna be him. All the rest disappeared. Now some of you might think that we're gonna save this image with preview. You're wrong. Because when we save it, it's gonna just, just fill out the rest with white. We don't want that. So, I'm just gonna press command C to copy it to my clipboard and I'm gonna open my photo editor GIMP. Now I already took out the PC guy from a photo. I'm just gonna delete that one and I put him into the the background. Now I'm gonna go file acquire from clipboard. Now I have the PC guy. Now, uh, no, the Mac guy. Now we right click, edit, cut, close that one, Don't save, right click here, edit, paste. And we have the Mac guy. I'm gonna scale him up a bit. Enter and press M to move him around more. And I think that's good. I'm gonna save it. Save as Mac and whoops PC in the XP background. 
I know it's a long name, but who cares? I'm just saving it for fun. I'm gonna put it in my picks and backup folder, which I put pretty much everything. Now, export, save. Now, I'm gonna quit the GIMP, quit preview, discard changes. I'm gonna go to Finder, search Mac and PC. Now, select it. Spotlight, you successfully finished it. Now you can mess around with this. I already put like a MacBook Air in a Chinese place. It was giant, I didn't know how to scale things with GIMP that time. Well, that's it. Thanks for listening. Oh, wait a minute. I made this video with ScreenFlow, the application I use for screen recording. I think it's great. It's the best one there is for Mac. Well, thanks for listening.